Okay, hello people, this is Meta and this is the part 4 of the tutorial of how to make a script editor in Visual Basic, okay? So in this video, I will show you how to make that state function which I have left on the on the part before this so let's continue now write file dot I think I have to import system.io import system.io it means system dot input output now write file dot read all text and the path will be the file name okay and we'll write text editor dot text equals file name I'm sorry equals hmm, we need another variable which is a local variable dean all text string equals nothing no you don't need nothing skip it that way and we'll write all text equals now we're all text now it now let's see first of all let me make a file in my document a test file I will write it HTML head slash head body slash body slash HTML and write hello world and I just save it now close this now go file and open and open that file and here you go fantastic right yeah I'm Mr. Fantastic okay now the thing uh, that left are uh, open and save as oh, sorry save save as and exit let's do the exit part it's very easy just put your just copy paste this notify code which is on the new new project and just paste it over and if dialog box it just write in finish now this has been done click file and click save as okay we need a save file dialog go to dialogs and drag and drop a save file dollar and name it dialog save file now just copy base the file name from here to here the filter from here to here and give the title save file okay now double click on save file so that the event shows up and write dialog save file dot open dot show dialog now write here change this one to private file name and put an s as string equals nothing now when save file has been done then I will write dim all text as string so now uh, okay now write file name equals dialog state file dot file file name and write a all text equals to 
text reader dot text now write file dot write all text the path should be the file names and the content will be the all text now let's see now I just put a, anything on here click save as and type test.txt now go to the place where you have say and see it magic now the remaining is the oh man the remaining is the save okay so double click save and this is also easy and copy paste this and write and just copy paste all of them from here to here finish now let's see Enter a text and click save as test.txt and if you see it now, it's that okay. Then let's just update it and click save. And if you see it now, it just updates. How beautiful it is! So, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you see in the next part.